orders are as follows. Good morning, cadets, and welcome back to our Hard Dream playthrough where we have a potential general and he's not bad. Eager, reserved, public order, sociable. Yeah, I'll get him. Where did you end up? Also, Tier Thread, Merchant Guild. Oh, you're literally in Final Bell. Well, that's really good. The only time Lee here being besieged by the Lamrot, which means we're gonna have to deal. What do I have here? Those guys. Some Ballista. That's Gondor. And then another general with catapults and all that. Yeah, this is gonna be a long uh, off screen cheese happening. And by the looks of it, yeah. Mar the Nymar are still creating problems. They did attack some troops outside Tarnost and they called the garrison. That's really damaged. But yeah, there's another full stack over here. And these guys potentially trying to reinforce here at Minas Tirith. Mordor still hasn't pushed through. I mean, yeah, they can take it, but that's a lot of Gondor defenders as well. And they don't have a general. Right, in the meantime, 1025, so that's 40 per turn. Uh, that's times 460. Yeah, five more turns. I can upgrade Ankaragmir. Right, uh, let's not forget these guys to move. This guy is finished. Pikemen, uh, yeah, I'll merge the pikemen now, so I don't forget, and the next turn I can merge the warband together, mm, retraining, two more turns, recruitment, so we have Talajaf, yeah, already saw that, Tiritoros, uh, yeah, up here, Barad Han, get archers, Funnel Bell, Recruitment. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna keep these guys for a moment. If I leave this general, how unhappy will it be? I mean, you'll be fine. Because, yeah, I exterminated and I steal the fear. And that's 15, I would say. That should drop around 90. Uh, should be fine. Well, for now, I'm still gonna keep the full army for the moment until I have these guys organized here. Right, and then construction report, Estala. We are fine. 6.5 because I have generals. So I doubt that's gonna remain once I take them out. I'm on ETL. Stables. Uh, Estala. Sure, you can have the Ballista Maker. Uh, Karasast. There we go. Let's go for the Leather Tanner. With the Chicken Farming. And you're okay. Lean here. We're gonna leave the Guild House. And then Breath here we repaired. Okay, where is my spy over here? As you will. I'm so they only have a cav here. Colondage can easily fall. What's the percentage here? 90%. Uh, yeah, they left that one, but... If he's there, yeah, for example. An IBC is shell car. Let's say IBC is from the from the left side. They can still go around. There is a crossing here and reinforce from the north. And the same if I attack from the north, then they can come here. If I take Kruk Mahur, for example, they can still reinforce. We can uh, attack me from behind. 
See, this is kind of throwing the dice roll in terms of opening the gates via the spies, in my opinion. Which I kind of doubt is gonna go in my way. So maybe try to juggle with the settlements. For now, Corondash seems the most undefended. Unless, I don't know, they have troops around here in the fog of war. And once I besiege it, they're gonna jump on me. So yeah, maybe... Yeah, that's a lot of troops. Mini Shatir troops, sure. But they do have two generals. I think we can take them. But I kind of want to do a snipe really quick and try to avoid any big confrontations. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Now, it's still going to take a while for these guys to get there. There's like four more turns. Okay. I think this might be it, except diplomat out here. Let's go towards there. That's like seven, eight turns, I would say. And let's see what Aradonai might as well do around here. If they they're gonna get finally get kicked around by Gondor, or they're gonna they're gonna take care of these big armies from Gondor. And then we can push towards Talnost and then Ethring, and maybe. I think Long Gallon is a settlement here. Because this, uh, the territories that are bordering Edelhond is Ethring, which is Ring of Vale, and this is Anfalas. And they only border just by borders, not directly. Because if they want to get to Edelhond, they're going to have to pass through Ring of Vale. Saying this because I kind of don't want to uh, have a full stack at the bridge all the time. Kind of a waste. So maybe we try to snipe Tarnost, Ethring, Longallan, and then finish off Dolamroth. Because they'll be surrounded. I could potentially try to move via boats and take Matrast. Question is, how can I do it in such a way that I can avoid the Doomstack? Or, I don't know. <sighs> anyway, let's deal with these guys there. I'm gonna move these guys. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll move them as well. And you as well. And then next turn I can move. These guys as well. And actually next turn I'll have enough operation to upgrade Ballad Han. To a large town. Wonderful. Right. Uh, I'm just gonna deal with these guys off screen and I guess I'll see you next turn. Alright, there goes the leader of Eredluin. Damn, this campaign, a lot of leaders died really quick, in my opinion. And yeah, let's see with recruitment out here first. Palat Han. Yeah, we have. That and then Funnel Bell retraining. How many more turns? Nine turns for a general. Hey, you continue on your way. That's three more turns there. Meet up. And the next turn I can get these guys as well. Out of Funnel Bell. And uh, there was no. Didn't see any engagements over here. But yeah, they. They decide to gather out there. Uh, Minas Tirith is still under siege. Is Kalenhad not under siege? I don't know why I thought for a second this was Aradonaim. That banner was not barely filled. It confused me for a bit. Right. Farms over there. Amrun, you have the ship right. Public Baths, Mount Karnan, you're good. To the Ballista, and here, Godain, Inambar, Balathan, 
go for the upgrade. But let's cancel the stables because I'll have the guild house, the builder's guild house next. Consist. I'm gonna go for leather worker. Let's make sure I have the best armor available. And actually go for Dark Shrine, then the Guild House here. My eyes are From this uh, even Korondash has enough population to upgrade. So yeah, these guys are moved there. Hmm. How is Ankaragmir getting there? So yeah. This is 134 to be exact. So that is yeah, that is like three to four turns. I can uh, put the upgrade. How may I serve? Order. So I think. One. Okay, you know, let's get everybody out. Yes, Factionaire, you can stay in uh, Bretil. You're still happy. And let's have these guys move here. You won't be able to move afterwards. But yeah, next turn I'll have to reorganize a bit the army here. For my faction leader. Could actually... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do something like this. I don't gonna put How one of the generals in another army. An honor to serve. I'm just trying to see if I can snipe something. And try to go for Metrast. But that will spawn the doom stack. Well that's gonna be next turn when I'm gonna have to reorganize the army. Let's have this guy as well out. I believe that was everyone. Yeah, still you'll have the trolls How may I serve? Order. out here. Which actually How next turn I, I can Order. unite with these guys. So still gonna be a bit. I have three generals here. One for each settlement. With a fourth one here. Noble one. So maybe... You have you towards the north Just for now. Because once I take these ones from Kant, we're gonna have to buckle up, weather down the attacks. And maybe even have this general out here. Yes, noble we'll see if Mordor breaks the alliance. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe this general is gonna be for Haut Hanor. And we just spark the war and have fun. We'll see. Okay. Uh, did I have anything gold at all for us? No, only normal troops. But I can make some boats. Shall be fair. So might as well. Uh, where can I make boats? I know here in Umbar. But that's uh, ways off. Unfortunately. Uh, Kaldun should have enough movement speed to reach there. Hopefully. Over Midland. Ah, next turn I'll have the port. Final Midland, yes. And I think that's about it. Yeah, I do have an Estala and possibly the yeah, Amron. But I have to juke their navy. Uh, which is your port? Kaldun has this one. Cool. It's not Talashavs' port. Okay. Again, we're gonna have to be really, really careful. I need to keep an eye out for Mama Kills and Generals. Okay. Let's move on. And we have Anuminas rebuilt. Okay. Uh, yeah. Put pressure on Netherhorn, that's not gonna happen. And I did forget to move my Diplomat. Let's move him now. Is this? Uh, that's still Wood Elves. 
Nobody coming of age. Talajov. Uh, we can get more archers, sure. There's actually like two stacks around here. That's not bad. Ah, yeah, we had archers available because I just finished the building. Got it. Kaldun. Still quite. Uh, that was. That's 5%. Uh, that's. What? 2, 230 per turn? Because it is 46, 47. So let's say 50 per turn. So that's like 250 per turn. Times 4. That's 1000. So yeah, by the time maybe I have one turn built at the barracks, we're gonna have the upgrade available. Or when the public baths finish, we have the upgrade for Kaldun. Uh, go for Merchant's Wharf. Milon Tiritoros, you have the blacksmith, perfect. Catapult maker. Go with Tolfalas. Go for stables. Funny Lond, you have the Dark Temple, that's level 3. Uh, go for stables. Then Palar Gear. Level 3. Culture. Oh, we're looking in Brethiel. Oh, pfft. It's, we're all good. I do have the barracks here. Was it 25% need culture? Or easier, you can get one guy from here, from Tiritoros, and just move him uh, towards here. And by the looks of it, there has been some engagements. And Aradunaim are really kicking Gondor around with what they have. I mean, they do have, what, four generals in that stack? They have, like, five generals, and all these guys are full gold in terms of experience. So, yeah, they're gonna do a lot of damage. Considering that these guys, <laughs> more than, like, three quarters of their troops are just militia tier. And these guys in the Thanos that don't matter that much, they're really damaged. Okay, these are still castles. These guys just chilling over there. How far are you? Well, now since he's chilling out there, we can potentially snipe Kruk Mahur and even Korondaj, if he stays there. He won't have enough movement speed to reinforce either. So we can snipe that if need be. I'll put one mama kill in each army, that's for sure. Um, yeah, get Cav there. Do I need to reinforce here? No. Okay. Now, here. I think most of this army is going to remain the same. So actually, let's have something like this. You're out, so now I have the Mama kills first. And I have a lot of troll warriors from what I see. Oh, that's uh, hunters, okay. Let's have the hunters. Hunters, and then from here. One, two, three, four. Five. No, actually, I have the. You can stay in Tiritoros for now. I might have one army for you. Hautanur is not that well defended. And surprising that they still haven't taken Minas Tirith. Okay. Anyway, let's get back here. So one, uh, how many archers do I have? Five. One, two, three. 
And then you have pikemen in like five. Cav I don't need because I have the generals. So he's gonna be the two ballista. I guess it's gonna be yeah. This troll warrior and these guys, they're almost full strength. This is fine. And then we have the ballista here. This is going to be a bit of annoyance to arrange these armies. Any other archers? Yeah, we have you. And then we have you guys. And then we have the pikemen. Wait, you. A lot of Southron defenders. How may I serve? Hmm. Order. Yes, how may I serve? What do I have here? Only Cav. Got Order. it. How may I serve? So I would say. How may I serve? Yeah, these guys and then three Cav. How may I serve? Order. Actually. How may I serve? I mean, if these settlements are not that well defended, Order. Yeah, I don't need most of these guys because I was thinking this stack to actually be the one to go towards Houthanor. But nah, it's all good. And then we have these guys here, right? Let's see if I can actually be sneaky and go towards. Ethering. And these guys are really How damaged out there. I kinda need maybe to invest in militia tier troops as well. Uh, and we have these guys as well. Archers. Which I can. Uh, actually reinforce here that be well next turn because that's not happening right now or I can leave it like that it's just not a lot of guys missing from that archer unit cool these guys we have them moved all good and then next turn we can move these guys out here as well with the generals okay let's carry on did i move the diplomat yes. yeah i already moved him hey people are in position all good ankara mir they only need what this is like 81 no 91 i don't know why i said 81 91 guys left so yeah that's three more turns roughly all righty then let's carry on all right there wasn't any engagement here either from gondor or ardunayam this guy is still just chilling out there cool 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 right anybody coming of age no just some more More traits. Okay, we have the one in Khaldun. Go back to Alphalas. They're still blocking Talajar. Then Tiritoros. Okay, it's gonna be two turns for you. I'm gonna actually do this. We won't be able to move far, but it is what it is. Hey, that's good. Let's see what we finish building. Umbar. Sure, we can go for stables. Money Thiel. Go for Blacksmith. Tier 3. 
5.5 in growth, Karasast, go for Blacksmith, and, okay, Gondor actually managed to break the siege. Admina steal it. I'm happy by it, in a way. So yeah, if I let them just keep these guys busy, maybe I can uh, sneak through here, through the back, and uh, besiege Ethring via the bridge. And that way, these guys can't reinforce. They have to go all the way around. They can attack me, but then... We're gonna have maybe a... Maybe a bridge battle? Would be interesting. Alrighty then, you guys. How may I serve? Uh, you can follow... How may I serve? On the way. Let's just move these guys out. Uh, we can move with these guys here. And I do have a lot of troops. Also, actually, I can get. Yeah, let's get some mercenaries. At least the good kind. Can I. Let's have you over there. Maybe the troops will move a bit more faster in that way. I would say maybe you there, eat you here, that's one, two, three, four turns. Eat you, one, two, three, four, five turns. Okay, apparently I can retrain this guy, sure. That's still a 4%, 44... I think I'm gonna stop around 1,199 or 98. I think that's where it's gonna stop next turn, the growth. Just two more guys, guy, man. Come on, <laughs> two more. Anybody else I can retrain from the generals? A two turns for Ardumir to be upgraded. Perfect. Final Lond, all good. Brethil. Uh, already moved you, right? Order. Yeah, that's two turns. Tritoros. I'm on Ethiel, still a long way to be upgraded. Lar gear, good. Tira trade. They're more than halfway there. Karasast. Seven more turns for a general. Stala. That's still 5.5. Wasn't it like around the same or like 6 for a Stala? Or maybe 6.5. I can't remember. I need to check back the recordings hey that's everyone in terms of troops let's have the boats meet up that's a fleet of something okay let's get more boats here trust i don't have build boats uh, go with Milond. Yeah, because we did it finish the port. And that's your port over there. Okay. I think this is it for this turn as well. Let's see what happens. Or wait, I think I forgot to move the diplomat. Yep. Let's make sure he's not gonna get stuck into different stuff. I should fail my Rohan mission, either next turn, or the turn after. Alright, I uh, don't think there was any engagement here. No, it was not. Uh, I think 
is getting a bit more defended. And I've been kicked out of Corondage and they brought the general. This guy moved from there. And it's irrelevant. Okay. That's two turns over there. And then three more turns there. You have the Momo kills. So you can try to follow him. Okay, nobody else coming of age. Recruitment, Fano Bell. And then on Karagmir. You actually can reach him. Afterwards, let's see with the buildings. That's Tala. Amrun. The blacksmith is done. Start going for military buildings. Gabatol Falas, uh, Ballista Maker. And then we have Lim here, or Lin here, Gilhouse, and get the level 3 culture. And then Leather Tanner, Wheat, Chicken Farming, Port, Great Hall, Communal Farming, and then we'll see afterwards. Okay, you are moving there, two more turns, or actually next turn. And here's the thing. I'm gonna actually start making some troops around this area, because if we start the rumble with Khand, I'll need some troops. And since Hautanur is not that well defended, I think I should be able to take it with just normal troops, in my opinion. Okay, you guys. Now here's the thing. If I attack from the bridge, I won't be able to bring reinforcements. So I think I'm gonna risk having these guys go through the back. That's one turn, one turn. Hopefully I'm not gonna get attacked by Dolamrot. And Gondor is gonna leave my guys alone here. They could decide to attack me on the open field. But considering I have Momo kills, maybe he'll think twice before doing that. And also we have our Dunayam creating problems over there. Right. Uh, please don't die. There you are. And you get more traits. Perfect. Let's see Ankaragmir. Well, I was thinking actually 1199. But I was leaning a bit more towards 98. But yeah, we only need one more guy <laughs> if we had. We could have upgraded now, but I guess it's gonna be next turn. Yes, my master. All the time, just yes, one. All the time. The that curse will never leave me alone. Alrighty then. Uh, here, yep. Yeah, Mordor is not gonna get pushed around. But they're gonna potentially besiege Minas Tirith, Minas Tirith soon. Right, let's end the turn and see if my gamble is gonna pay off. Okay, we have Imladris besieged with Western Moria besieged. And unfortunately, Ardenayam kinda screwed me here, yes and no. Because they did uh, go ahead and attack some of the troops here from Gondor. But now they have the Zone of Control. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna move this the faction leader over here because Ethering is not that well defended right now. So I'm gonna do the cavalry trick. And that's a bit of a risk what I did there. Because they could have had the fort under control. 
but they don't, which means I'm gonna snipe it. Uh, yeah, sure, you can be there. Ain't nobody coming of age. Recruitment, yeah, we have only the militia tier units. Finish with that bow, Tiritoros, Barathan, all good. Orders. Merging with the fleet. Orders. Combining fleet. I almost have stack of boats, but they're not that great. Hey, Aldemir, upgraded to a stronghold. Looking nice on the campaign map. Goblin Lond. I guess you can have the fountains, Tiritoros. That's camels, right? Let's get normal troops, great hall. Uh, market in funny Lond. Get some archers, sheep, right? Sure. And then Brethil. Okay, we just leveled to culture. Got it. Now, here. Right, they moved back there. annoying me How may I serve? to be honest I mean I'm gonna risk it next turn we can be in range but let's see what this guy is gonna move and now I have a general over there can I actually get more yeah, let's get these guys as well. And now roughly we have the same numbers in terms of troops. Okay, everybody meet up at Tiritoros. The stack that hopefully I'm gonna be able to take out an ore. You actually are moving there. But I feel quite happy, even without the general. But I don't need Cav to take care of any How may I serve? At the will. How may I serve? Any sieges. How may I serve? And then we had the Lagir. So roughly two turns there. But yeah, we have these guys training as well, so we're roughly it's gonna be the same. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on over there for that army. Yes, noble hey! I will only no, Gondor is not able to reach Ethring. And what do they have here? I th uh, don't know. Potentially I just a general. Not an emissary so it would have been nice if Aradonayim would have moved just I one more spot warrior, down here not or not lord. take care of that zone of control. Alright, here. Gallant Hut still not under siege. That's a lot of mortar troops. Ostithil not that well defended. They take out Anor and then I could actually potentially push for Ostithil really quick. Anyway, here is the issue with this army. Because if, if they're gonna move, next turn they're gonna be in range. And I'll be in range as well. But let's say I won't attack. Because these guys are two turns away. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Also, I still haven't failed the mission from Rohan. Do I still have it? Ah, no. I already, yeah, I already failed it. Now I have to do the blockade for Ederhorn. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking about... You know, talk with Rohan and all that. Uh, actually, I could have just sniped some of this fort as well. An honor to serve. Do you have enough movement speed by any chance? At once. Yes. At once. Mm, I'm gonna move one more. No, you won't be able to snipe that fort. Do you, is 
think it's just out of reach. Right. Okay. I'm gonna do something like this in the interest of saving a bit of time. Uh, if nothing happens next turn, I'll probably jump directly into the fight for Ethering. And I should be able to take it with just normal troops as well. If not, hopefully other than I'm not gonna block me and I can put Ethering under siege with my my faction leader and also let's see what Gondor does because they might decide to encircle my faction leader and try to attack him we'll see but yeah I'll mostly or 80% chances I'll see in the fight for Ethering all right and here you are I'm taking down the towers I'm just gonna leave my reinforcing army to just breach down the gates on the other side when you have a general out here to deal with and take out that tower and you know what yeah I can try to breach down these gates should have enough ammunition for it and he's not defending the gate is gonna fall down yeah not much happened this turn I believe the most important things was that Chadwell's halls was besieged and then uh, apparently Ardunayim decided to uh, declare war but not attack me so they just moved on on the bridge and once I chose to attack with my faction leader he just retreated out of the way so yeah Gates have fallen. And Gondor was actually trying to reinforce Ethring through via the bridge. So I knew that's gonna happen. Let's let's just try to do some charges with the general. Surround them. I'm not gonna they have lost half their men. Can you get out of there? Okay, he's surrounded. All good. I don't know how many more guys you have there. Not many. And that's gonna be Our like what? 100 something people? For a general in a city? He's somewhere around there. Ah, not anymore. I think this is it. Cool. Victory is ours. I actually had a couple more guys. So yeah, I lost from the general unit. That doesn't matter. Oh uh, yeah. Almost a hundred people I uh, lost. But that's okay. I can take reinforcements from what I have. I actually decided to take out my cav out of this reinforcing army. Because I know how the AI handles Cav during sieges, so I didn't want them to be killed nonetheless. But yeah, we have Ethring. Again, I'll see what we can do. And I'll see you next turn. Okay, we have the guild in uh, Ethring. Yeah, we have Alodunayam over here. I did decide to... Snipe this fort out here. You know what? I'm gonna snipe forts with these guys. And then next time I'm gonna take this one. That's just in case. I don't know. I'm gonna fight other Dunayim and they're gonna retreat into a fort. But you are the most advanced faction. Gondor attacking me and Karasast. Uh, what happened with all mortar forces out here? Weird. Okay. I'm not gonna say no. Those guys are trained up. So we only have this around here. So yeah, next turn. Once they get retrained, 
Yeah, that's a full stack out here. Not bad. Nobody coming of age. And training, just the retrain over there. Estala. Have that. Can go for guard barracks. Can. Yeah, let's have some of the more elites ready around there. I did swap a bit the. What is it? The tax rate in some of the settlements. In Amron being one of them. So I can, I don't know, maybe push it much more quicker towards a city. I'm on FTL, you're on low. And I think did I trade as well? Was it on very high? I can't remember. Well, yeah, I put Barahan on very high because they're safe. And it's already getting a lot of growth. Uh, tier 3 is already checked, right? Yeah, go to Falas. Go for the High Palace. The next thing you repaired out here. Okay, now. Okay, they moved there. Again. Ah, okay, who are you? That's the faction leader. I mean, hmm. What they have here. Yeah, they do have a lot of cav, which is marauders. But that's very, very bad cav. And they do have a lot of archers. This army here, I have two Muma kills. But now, this is the thing here. If I move these guys here, they might decide to move back. So you know what, I'm gonna move these guys to reinforce. And see if this guy moves back or not. I still can throw a coin flip if need be. And see if the spy opens the gates. This one here is a bit of an issue. I'm gonna move them close, well, because I'm already committed. Yes. This one here is winnable because I have the two Moma kills. This one up here, maybe not as much. Despite the fact that, yeah, they still have... Yeah, they do have Cav, but a lot of them are, like, really militia tier units. And here, I do have, like, two Cavs, so if I... If I do a proper defense, then yeah, maybe. Right. Uh, here, you're gonna retreat, that's for sure. So, it's gonna be you into the city. What was that? That was a weird bug. I think should be happy. And yeah, you're gonna get... More, more trades and that should be happy over there. Uh, you... Let me get one calf. I have you inside, actually. And this is the faction leader. That's a lot of generals out there. And then we will have the factioner here. Thanos is well protected. I'm gonna have this by. Let's see what they have here. Kalembel is a city. Again, now that we are defended. Put to push towards Kalembel and then Long Gallon. And then double back towards Edelhond. I need to sacrifice the general though for that. How many turns here? Three turns. Also, I kind of forgot two turns prior to put the upgrade for Ankarag Mir. So, yeah. I'm gonna put this on very high. Or, no, you know what, I'm gonna leave it on low. We're fine with cash. Alright. So. I'm not gonna... 
flip the coin just yet. I want to see if these guys move back towards Chelkar or not. We might have a big battle here. Again, I could throw the coin toss and see if my spies open the gates, but that's 50-50. Literally 50-50. So, yeah. So... I'm gonna have this cav try to snipe that fort. Hopefully you'll be safe. These guys can stay uh, yeah, here. We do have that other big stack. Actually I'm gonna move them just a tad bit away. And since the battle weight for Ethering was really really short, yes, I wanted to include some fight in this episode. Why don't we go after our Dunayam? Let's clear them out. These guys don't matter, but they do have a lot of generals. So I'm gonna lose some of my troops as well. And actually, before I forget, let's make sure I have this guy over here. Map info. And did I saw? Correctly, I think they have Eroi as well. Yep, they do have Eroi. Not bad. Let's finally reach Rohan by the back door. Alrighty then, that's gonna get retrained. Next turn, they can. Can they reach in one turn? No, that's two turns, unfortunately. So, yeah, roughly at the same time. We're gonna attack Khand and see if Mordor breaks the alliance or keeps the alliance with us. Okay, let's clear some Ardenheim troops. Alright, here we are. We do have a oh, slight uphill advantage. I do have my ballista firing at them while we're trying to reposition. With the other troops, have my mama kill generals on this side, and then this mama kills on this side. Let's see if we are lucky and uh, snipe some of the generals with the ballista. Okay, you're all good. Try to just attack what you can. Okay, you guys start retreating. I don't want to lose any ballista guys. That's a big empty spot over there. What happened? Stop firing you as well. Victory is well within our grasp. In time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Okay, are these guys no they're not routing just yet. Can actually resume firing because some of them they decide to go somewhere else okay try to fire on those guys Okay, he decide to charge. Now that I don't appreciate, I don't want 
you to die all of a sudden. Let's say I wanna be careful with that. Yeah, that's not a proper charge that you wanna do. you okay you can this one general down so again I'm losing a lot of troll warriors the enemy perfect there goes the main general Shaken, wavering. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Okay, stop fighting. Actually, we might do a lot of uh, friendly fire with that. that uh, general I think it might be actually you're not, not a general as well that the you're routing out here okay yep perfect there goes that guy How many more? I don't think they. Do you have? Maybe one more general. I think you have. Actually, that ballista kind of screwed my trollman warriors. We are winning the battle. Those guys are out, fighting to the death. Nah, nah, nah. Get them all. Let's have the other cav and get those guys. Cool. Great victories nice. are like sweet nectar. Oh, like six percent, but yeah, that was like what? Uh, four generals. And yeah, no more troll warriors. Gonna need to reinforce my my pikemen. Okay, I think this is actually it for this turn as well so i guess i'll see you next turn see what happens and i'll leave it there and there it goes Davis leader again and uh, wait is Bree leader is dead actually there goes dale altogether damn okay so that's dorgodur that's ron okay so ron is having a great game as well if they take the dwarves then it's gonna be rune against they're gonna be at odds here Dolgodur, Kudabad and Rune. we'll see if uh, they're gonna declare war against one another Golden Castle ready to upgrade yep gonna cancel the other one and just leave the barracks because yeah that's we already invested in it. Recruitment, Estala, ah yes, the troops. And then three Toros retrain out here. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna reorganize off screen the rest. So what's happening here? Our alliance, yes, noble they reinforced at Krukmahor. You know what? I'm gonna go for Chelkar, see if these guys follow me or not. Or maybe they. We can actually decide to go at Korondash. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it as it is. 
And then actually next episode and next turn as well. Yes, noble master. I'll put Chelkar under siege, sure. And okay, Krukmahor got upgraded to a stronghold. Colondage, maybe soon. An honor to serve. I'm gonna have this guy here. And we're gonna risk a battle. Open field battle against Khan. I do have two Moma kills in this army, so I need to use them wisely. In the meantime, don't I have... Yeah, two turns for a general. Right, I'll see about any other management off screen. In the meantime, yeah, Pallor than I am. Fought a bit of Gondor over here. We're fine. You snipe that fort. And you can actually chill there. Yes, noble master. My uh, how is Long Gallon? Okay, only one guy. So let's go towards that. I'm gonna actually park you on the bridge. You're actually. Hopefully you are hidden, but it is what it is. So I can reach Long Gallon in two turns, if need be. Okay, we, we, we'll, we'll see. But for now, I'll leave it here for this episode, and uh, we'll continue next time, where... We might potentially start the episode with a fight against Khand and their faction leader. And we'll see how we do. So yeah, I'll probably skip the management for the next turn as well. And just jump directly into the fight. You know what, in the meantime... Uh, it does not matter. Anyway, yeah, I'll see. For now, hopefully, I'll, hopefully you enjoyed this episode, guys. But I'll see you next time. And as always, don't forget... To take care.